Welcome to Dr. Yu Academy YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the derivative of log functions. So first of all, we will try to understand what is a log function. Let f of x is equal to log e base x. So the base of this log function is e. So now, as we know, the short form for this log e base x is ln. So if I say ln x, that would be log e base x. Now we have to understand what is e. The value of e is 2.71. This e is called Euler's number. This is a very important uh, number in uh, log as well as in exponentials. Now, first of all, we will define our base case in log ddx log e base x can be written as 1 divided by x or we can write ddx so we can replace log e base x by ln x and that would be 1 divided by x so this is going to be our base case so what we have to understand here this x would be the variable associated with the differential operator here and this is the log function and the independent variable would be x so if you have this criteria you can get the output as 1 divided by x now that will tell you if you have this function which is ln 2x and if you need to get the different uh, derivative of that so ddx of ln 2x. So here you have x as the variable associated with differential operator and 2x is the variable which is the independent variable for the log function. Now here, how to do such a question? Can we use the fundamental base case here? So as we know, in these kind of situations, we have to use a construction. And that construction would be the chain rule. So using chain rule concept, we will have a new construction so that we can find the derivative of such a function. Let's talk about two examples. If you have ddx to log e base x so you need to find the derivative of that so as we know 2 is a constant we can take 2 out so 2 ddx of log e base x now log e base x is nothing but 1 divided by x so one can write 2 divided by x is the answer to that question Second example, if you have ddx log e base 2x. Now here, what you have to do, you have to construct the variable of the differential operator, which is 2x. So log e base 2x is what we have. And you are going to sort of cancel this 2x and then the original dx you can write. So now as you know, this would be your chain rule. So that is the connection between those two terms. So now here, this one can be written as one divided by two x. The solution to that part would be one divided by two x. And the solution to this part would be just two. So as we know, we can write one divided by two x times two, the answer would be one divided by x. Now, the third example, if you have ddx log e base x squared, what we, what we do, similarly, we will introduce x squared here. So log e base x squared is our function and then 
we are going to use a chain rule here dx squared divided by dx now this is the chain rule now the solution to this one for the first part here the solution to that one would be 1 divided by x squared multiplied with this one would be your power rule and that would be 2x so the solution to the to this question would be 2 divided by x as our fourth example we will take this question so that would be ddx ln 2x plus 1 so you know ln would be log e base so if you have that again you will do the construction that would be you have 2x plus 1 here and you're going to copy your given function and you are going to seemingly cancel that and dx would be the original term you have so this is the chain rule here so now you can see from this term the answer would be 1 divided by 2x plus 1 and from the second term the answer would be let me split that first so that would be ddx of x plus ddx of 1 if you want for the clarification and this one would be 0 and the answer for this one would be 1 using power rule then the answer to the whole question would be 2 divided by 2x plus 1 and that one would be the answer let's take another similar question ddx ln 2x squared plus x plus 1 so definitely you have to do the use the chain rule do the construction so that would be 2x squared plus x plus 1 then you have to copy your function over here 2x squared plus x plus 1 then you are going to cancel what you have introduced and that is called your chain rule so this is your chain rule now the answer to this one to this part would be 1 divided by 2x squared plus x plus 1 times so now we have to find the answer to this section so if you split that because you can see the summation rule here, here so i'm going to split this 2 ddx of x squared plus ddx of x plus ddx of 1. now you know that this term goes to 0 the value of this term would be 1 the value of this term would be 2x power rule now this one is equal to so from this term you get 4x plus 1 so you have that in the numerator divided by 2x squared plus x plus 1 and that would be the answer to that question now we are in our sixth example so let ddx of ln x the whole thing to the power 2 is the function given to, uh, to to get the derivative so as you can see here you can see this power right so we can use the power rule so if you use the power rule you can't use the power rule as it is you have to construct your uh, variable associated with the derivative so this is how you have to do that so you are going to construct ln x as a variable and if you do that you have to cancel it that means you are going to use the chain rule and then you put your original dx over here now this is your chain rule now here you get 2 ln x the whole thing to the power 1 that is pure um, power rule multiplied with 
Now you have ddx of ln x. So this is your, you know, log base case, which is one divided by x. So answer would be two divided by x ln x. And that would be your answer. Now question number seven is little special. So let ddx of ln e to the power x. So if you have such a question, how do you tackle this? Now there is a small trick. Let y is equal to ln e to the power x. You know, we can write this one as x ln e. So that's a log property. You can take this power in front of the term. Now, ln e would be log e base e. And log e base e would be 1. So answer would be x. So we can conclude ln e to the power x or log e base e to the power x is nothing but x. Then you can rewrite this question in this way. ddx of x and the answer would be 1. And that's the end of the discussion. Thanks for watching.